Particularly over the last few years, you know how we get down. It's fantastic. Funky Friday, but it's all also Firebirds Friday. Let's rock. Oh, man, it's the first time ever uh, in studio, and I just thought about this since, since we've been rocking with this gentleman and our partnership with the Firebirds, that Ray Harris has ever been into the studio. So he's in the studio right now, and so happy to have him here. And he has an unbelievable guest, a partnership with the uh, unbelievable lady, uh, Lisa Town Hall, who's a huge healthcare individual. So I'm gonna let Wade Harris welcome Lisa. Welcome Wade. Wade, you can introduce him. Give well, him a round of applause, A Town. Give him a round of applause. Wade. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, thank you for having us. We're glad uh-huh. to be here and doing Fiber Fridays. We have Lisa Low Hall, and she is president and CEO of Triangle Family Services where they do a tremendous job of serving our community in a, f- a variety of ways, a lot of different departments and compartments in that um, operation. So, uh, mm-hmm. Lisa, thank you for being here, and I'd love to have an opportunity to have our audience hear about what you guys do at Triangle Family Services. Uh, Lisa's so nice. I mean, I screwed her name up, but she didn't even say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, Lisa Loha, I want to mention. So talk about uh, your relationship with the Firebirds and how you guys got involved. Absolutely. Thank you both. Uh, Uh It is a pleasure to be here today. Um, You know, when you think about Triangle Family Services, we serve as a safety net for families in crisis. That's Mm -hmm. what we do. We build a stronger community by strengthening families. But what I like to tell people is we save lives. Mm -hmm. Uh, We do that uh, through four pillars. We have our family safety uh, program that consists of supervised visitation and a domestic violence prevention program. Mm -hmm. We have financial stability as a wraparound service for our clients to help them uh, sustain. We also have homeless and housing. So we rapidly rehouse uh, folks. We take care of the tent communities. uh, And then if you're housed, we work really hard to keep you housed. And then lastly, we have a mental health component. um, And that is individual, family, mental health services that we provide. And then we have a youth suicide prevention program. Mm. When we're talking about how we connect with the Firebirds, I think Mm -hmm. we both work to empower youth. Mm -hmm. Uh, And while Firebirds is using wonderful STEM uh, to empower youth, we do that by making sure we can provide them a safe family unit with our supervised uh, visitation service and then making sure we're caring for them from a mental health perspective. We try to get ahead of any type of mental health crisis suicidal ideations and Mm. we work with the local school systems to try to get ahead of that keep those kiddos healthy i think about our partnership is you know we're breaking up the roots disrupting those systems those negative systems on those children making a fertile ground so then your organization Mm. can come in and plant those positive seeds of stem and all of it in the spirit of empowering youth man that's unbelievable And, and again we're talking to ray harris who is is the CEO and the organizer of, of the Five Brains, but un- unbelievable partnership with Lisa Low Hall here talking to us about what she does. Now let's get back to the mental health part because I think several just only a few years ago that wasn't you know, people really didn't talk about that like because you know we kept that underneath the mm-hmm. underneath the surface so to speak. Today, <laughs> I mean it's it's like you kind of lean into that because it's a real thing. So how have you seen the uh, the interest level? in that space in your particular industry? Absolutely. You know, and, you know, there's still stigma around Mm -hmm. mental health. You know, everyone is not comfortable talking about mental health. I think when COVID came in a few years ago and just really um, exacerbated that situation, Mm -hmm. it's really hard to look away. Yeah. Uh, We're seeing it show up uh, in more and more places. Uh, I'm not sure there's anyone who is not familiar with someone, some type of connection of some type of mental health. Exactly. We've seen youth suicide rates Mm. and suicide rates in general just rise to alarming rates. And so it's one of those things where we have to prioritize it. Mm -hmm. Uh, But one thing, uh, historically, our insurance companies did not value it in a way that... They wow. were uh, putting dollars behind it. Okay, okay. We're seeing that change. We're mm-hmm. seeing government officials step up and mm-hmm. offer more funding. We're seeing private donors and funders really get behind mm. um, this problem. 
And we, we're seeing organizations coming out of silos. Mm. Because if we're truly going to disrupt the system of mental health crisis, we cannot do that in silos. And we have to link arms and we have to partner, right. like how we're doing with Firebirds. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to do mm -hmm. it in community. Have you seen, uh, in particular, people that look, look, look like us, you know, in that space? We, uh, you know, again, it's been a statement a little bit. We don't talk about it in our communities. It has that changed? Oh, is it changing? You know, I would say, you know, we are making some progress. Okay. Uh, and okay. you're right. You know, when you think about the African-American community, you pray it away. Or yeah. You just, you don't, mm. you don't talk about talk it. Talk about it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but we're, you know, we're, we're shining some light on okay. that. Okay. And one of the things that's really important in the mental health space is that when we're talking about people of color, it's important for people of color to be receiving help from another person of color. Mm. So we want to make sure at Triangle Family Services, we have diverse therapists. So we have males, we have uh, Hispanics, we have African-Americans, we have Caucasians, we have someone representing mm. everyone because as we know, mental health does not discriminate. No, it's a real thing. So so Wade, this, this got to be a good opportunity for you guys in terms of what you guys do in Absolutely. the community. Absolutely. Um, you know, gives us a chance to look at our youth who sometimes get overlooked when we talk about mental health. And mm -hmm. so this partnership allows us to be able to expand our partnership with Wake County Public Schools, but also with our players. You know, sometimes mm. you know, we don't think about big, strong athletes as having any mental health issues. Mm. And mental health isn't just always about, you know, losing it completely, but right. it could be just losing it a little bit at a time to the point where it affects the outcomes that you try to produce every day. And so our players, we know that they can't perform at a high level if they're having issues off the court. And so these types of relationships are going to help us to be able to address some of those things. It's funny you say that, I man, at a different level. But, you know, we're looking at Draymond Green and things he just went through mm -hmm. with the Golden State Warriors. He, as, where he was out on his sus suspension, so to speak. Yeah. He talked about that with therapists and, and talking to people and yeah. trying to deal with his mental. Just as important dealing with your physical. It is. And, uh, and, uh, and, and again, I, I mean, as a former athlete, I never even thought about that. Uh, you know, when I was younger, because right. it, it it wasn't it wasn't, wasn't on the radar. It wasn't yeah. a thing at all. Uh, man, we're talking to Ray Harris, and of course, uh, Lisa Lohall was a Triangle Family Services. Is it? That's it. And um, and 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 how can people get more involved in, in the things that you guys are doing? Absolutely. Um, there are many ways you can get involved at Triangle Family Services. I would first encourage people to go to our website, which is tfsnc.org. Mm -hmm. um, there are ways to volunteer. Mm -hmm. um, that is one way to get involved. We also have positions available. Mm -hmm. So if someone is looking for employment, you okay. can actually join our team. Um, in-kind donations um, mm. come to the organizations for the multiple pillars that we serve. But the, the number one way that people can get involved is awareness, making sure people understand that our organization exists yeah. and that help is available. And, and you guys are a nonprofit. We are a nonprofit. Oh, wow. This is, that's, that's outstanding. No, nonprofit. We've been going for 87 years strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. 87, 87 years. 87 years strong. And and you based out of Raleigh or where are you based, based out? Based out of Raleigh, okay. we're off of Western Boulevard. Oh wow! Yes, interesting. Wow. So okay, all right. So Mr. CEO of Firebirds, where I know you guys got a lot coming up. We do uh, man. in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Just to talk about some things you guys got planned. Well, right we got now. the flame starting to burn a little bit tonight. Okay. We begin um, our mini camp. It's from eight to ten o'clock okay. over at Word maybe, of God. Maybe, maybe that's what K Mac is now. Maybe he's over there getting ready. He's getting ready. Yeah, because <laughs> you know we're holding the spot for him. <laughs> You've been doing that for the last five years. <laughs> yeah, I think I've held that spot longer than I've ever held a spot for a basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> and it's interesting that he's not here this morning. Right. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Imagine that. <laughs> but, yeah, and so then tomorrow we continue with our mini camp after that. Um, next Thursday at the North Raleigh Hilton, who's going to be one of our partners this year, you'll be there. Yeah, yeah. They're uh, one of our partners. And, and the organization will be there. Right. But uh -huh. we're going to have our kickoff party. Oh, okay. and, Get this thing rock and rolling to get the fire, get the Firebirds excited, get the community excited about the Firebirds, and we're going to bring that Lily home this year. Oh, man, that would be great. And, of course, tell people how they can find out more about the Firebirds. Mm -hmm. Well, you can uh, you can go to our website, RaleighFirebirds.net. Um, follow us on all of our social media um, channels, and, uh, and obviously you can reach out to us directly, 919-830-0305. Oh, man, this – this is this is incredible. Now, I, of course, I've been rocking with them for a long time, doing color commentaries. How's Peter doing? Because it seems like, I mean, he went to Houston, and he painted his face 
That's the last I saw them. They, they, they won the championship. Yeah, Petey, I don't think he even got back yet. <laughs> <laughs> now, Petey's getting ready to rock and roll, man. He's going to have a big year this year. Um, you know, his his personal business is booming. Yeah. Uh, he's getting more and more opportunities to go out and, and broadcast sports, which is what yeah. he loves to do. But yeah. he does it first and foremost for the Raleigh Firebirds. Yeah, that's that's good stuff, though.